Welcome back to Ocarina of Time. We're here in Ganondorf's castle. Um, where we're gonna dispel more barriers. I guess we'll go in order, so that that means forest barriers first. I mean, we already kind of went out of order by doing the shadow barrier, but you know, whatever. We just made really quick work of that wolf post. I wasn't even expecting to hit it, but um, that was kind of funny, actually. I wonder what's gonna be in this chest. Probably arrows. Oh, a ruby. Great. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to light all these torches. Um, you could use fire arrows, but Din's fire would probably be a better choice. I'm just gonna use fire arrows to light the, that one torch right over on top of the door. Um, so there we go. And Din's fire! I'm gonna light that treasure chest on fire! Just kidding, it doesn't light on fire because this game is not realistic that way, I don't know. Okay, now we can enter the door. And we find this room, oddly enough, with uh, these fans, which kind of confuses me because this is an element of the Shadow Temple with these fans, and I believe there's also invisible platforms here. Never mind, I was wrong about the invisible platforms, okay. But um, we're gonna need to equip the hover boots in order to do stuff here because we're gonna have these fans push us around. So I'm just gonna wait for this one to turn on. And then we run out in front of it and get pushed over here to this platform. Um, now I don't remember how to get this one. I think you might just be able to hookshot to it. No? Okay. How do you get that one then? No matter. Let's throw a bomb at that Bebos, shall we? Die! Haha! <laughs> Our aiming is impeccable even though we use um, C targeting, so I guess we kind of cheated a little bit, but I, guess, I think we could just walk to this. Oh, whoa, 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 Link, honestly, come on, man. You can't be making mistakes like that. that that's a rookie mistake. How are we supposed to get that rupee? I really don't know. Someone tell me. Oh, you know what? We might need to do something about the, with like a song of time or something. I don't know. That might be it. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what that switch does first of all. That's kind of what our main priority right there. As long as we don't fall down into the chasm, I'm happy. Okay. What is? It? Okay. There we go. Yeah, we did have to hook shot to it. I guess kind of technically, we had to hook shot to get up there. So. Technically, we did have to hookshot to it, but um, not in a traditional sense, no. The last one is over there on top of that pillar. You have to be careful not to get blown by that gremlin, or the gargoyle, or whatever that is. Ah, get out of there, okay. So it's always wise to stock up on magic and arrows once you get into these rooms. Oh, I guess they're not going to give me arrows, but a heart instead. Well, that's, that's welcome too. I mean, that's that's fine. I needed a heart, I guess. Or a half a heart. Just because I fell in that chasm. Um, well, let's dispel the forest barrier. The forest barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, all men. Alright, <laughs> I like how the arrow is still floating midair. And with that, the forest barrier is dispelled. And we somehow magically end up back outside in front, but whatever. Um, next is the fire barrier, I, I guess. That's the spirit one, I'm pretty sure. Although, does it really matter if we go in order? I, I kind of want to go in order. That's just a personal thing, I guess. Where's fire? Oh, it's all the way up there. Oh well, we have plenty of time to walk over there. Just kidding, my computer is stupid and won't let me record more than 15 minutes, or 14 minutes, actually. Oh man, it's so hot in here, we can't stay here for long. I know, okay. I'll put on my tunic. Sorry, Navi. Okay. So yeah, in here you gotta have your going on tunic on. And if you noticed, when once we stepped on that middle platform it started to sink. That is the main 
gimmick of this room, I guess. It's not really, I mean, not, not really a gimmick, but just a trap, I guess. You can't fall into the lava, so you have to be kind of quick about what you do. Not do that, of course. Oh, okay, well that's fine. I don't care about losing damage as much as I do falling into the lava for all eternity. But, um, it's another silver rupee thing. Jeez, they sure do like silver rupees, don't they? No! Oh my god! Ah, uh, that was back and forth. Yeah, so you actually need the golden gauntlets to be able to complete this one. So, um... Just make sure you do the shadow barrier first, because that's what I recommend, at least. It's just so you can... Just so you're insured... I mean, just to ensure that you can do everything else. Because it really does suck to come here and... Not be able to do it. Not, or not be able to finish it. Just, just because you don't have the silver gauntlets. Trust me, it sucks. So let's go over here now. And we got a fire slug. Oh no, so menacing. Such a terrible enemy for Ganon's castle. Okay, um... And I believe we can actually just walk over there, but I'm gonna put on the hover boots just for... Insurance. This thing's gonna sink too, of course. And... Did we better not have lost all that progress? Okay. Thankfully, you don't lose it. Oh, oh! I didn't know that. If you use the hover boost, then it doesn't go down. Well, that makes sense, I guess. But well, that could have saved us a lot of hassle. But oh well. It's already done. We didn't lose our progress, so all is all is well here. Of course, we we end up half. We're having to use the hover boots in every single barrier, which is kind of weird. Okay. The fire barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, brother. So the fire barrier is dispelled, like Darunia just said. I don't know why I keep saying that over and over again. Okay. Next up is water, I guess. Even though I don't know where it is. It's so far away. Jeez. What? <laughs> I don't know why the door is down here. It's so random. Why didn't they just put it up, up on top like the rest of them? And if you were expecting a repeat of the water temple, Thank heavens, because this is actually more like the ice temple than anything. Or not the ice temple, the ice cavern. Um, of course, though, you're gonna have to be, have to be emptying your bottles to so get the blue fire here. But um, other than that, it's. I'm just glad that it's the ice cavern and not the water temple that they're mimicking here. Where is that other Frizo guy? I don't even know if that's what they're called. Officially, Frizo. I don't know. Freeze, I think they're called freezers. But, but of course you're also going to have these um, icicles dropping down on you, so be careful about that. I'm not sure exactly how many blue fires we need, but I'm just going to empty out all my jars. <sighs> just to be on the safe side. Using up all my fairies. Okay, so I filled up all my bottles with blue fire. So now we're just going to go through and melt this ice. I could go back and get another bottle of it, I guess. Um, if you ha if you already stocked up on fairies and you feel bad about emptying your jars, don't worry about it because there is a fairy fountain inside Ganon's castle. I think it's relatively close close to the water barrier, so don't worry about it. Um, but in here we have a ice another ice puzzle, except this one's timed. So have fun with that, I guess. Um, I'm gonna have fun with it, I know. Oh. Oh, okay, I thought that was an endless pit, but or bottomless pit, rather, endless pit, I don't know. Um, I think we were supposed to push this one into the pit. Yes? Okay. That seems to be a good solution. Although, what is that up there? Oh, that's where I need to go, but we can't get there quite yet, can we? Hmm. I don't really know... I don't really know what to expect here. I am just so thankful that they decided to make this themed on the ice cavern. I know I've said that 
I know I've said that plenty of times already, but if they had made the water barrier like a remixed water temple with with like water level puzzles again, I would have probably torn my hair out trying to do this again. With the frustration that I already experienced in the water temple and just having to do it all over again, that would piss me off to no end. And I think I'm, I'm gonna actually have to end up um, <laughs> dispelling, actually dispelling the barrier next episode because I don't have that much time left even though Okay, I'm just going to go in the room. <laughs> okay, I think I can do this. I have four minutes. Come on. We can do this really quickly. Come on, why do you have to take so long to equip the ice arrows? I mean, not the ice arrows, the light arrows. Gosh dang it. Don't run out on me. Local disc C. The water barrier is dispelled. Hurry up. Okay, wifey. Or fiance, technically. And with that, the water barrier, the water barrier is dispelled. Ooh.